Hello there and welcome to Heathrow Terminal 3. Today I find myself on a trip out to Amsterdam flying with KLM, the Royal Dutch Airlines, flag carrier of the Netherlands. Uh, part of a two-part trip, so I'm actually going to go to Paris in the day to catch Charles de Gaulle. But our first stop takes us to Amsterdam, stop over flight on the way. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting this. So originally the flight I'm on 1008 was scheduled to be a Boeing 10900, of course 739 being the airport uh, I was to get, but sadly due to lack of demand has been downgraded to an 800 instead. So fair enough, Sandy Peak 738, but I can't complain. So I'm at Heathrow Terminal 3 right now, I'm going to go over to the entry zone B. There's A, so I'm guessing that's B. And uh, yeah, I guess I've got nothing to do really apart from checking for the flights and make my way to the gates. About an hour and 45 to do that, so I've got plenty of time. Uh, I do have to get my passport checked as well as the documents checked at the check-in desk, something that I haven't had in a little while now, so... Get that all sorted out, otherwise, yeah, fingers crossed, all goes to plan. Right, head to, uh, let's head to B. Let's get ourselves checked in for this uh, flight, shall we? Last month here at Terminal 3 at Heathrow, it was uh, 2019. I was on my way to uh, Helsinki, see if your friends out there. It's not a bad little terminal. Not much way of viewing aeroplanes, I guess, when you're waiting in the departure lounge, but it's not too bad to get around. My flight's been called at Gate 3A, so I'm going to go towards that now. Again, Gate's pretty close together here as well, so I might take too much more to get there. There you go, about 10 minutes, according to the uh, time pad up. 10 minutes. Okay then, I said it, the uh, Netherlands and the Dutch is a uh, uh, flag carrier. They have a mixed fleet, everything from Embraer's, the Boeing's, Airbus. And they also touch with um, Air France as well, so the answer also a line in their allegiance as well. Originally 739, now we go to 738. But I can't really complain, I guess. So uh, yeah, off to gate 3A. Uh, must have not probably got here a little bit, well, I didn't say it late, but. I guess tighter than normal, but hey ho. So, and the corridor, make a left. And uh, yeah, the aircraft we go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fanny Rijken. I'm your 
departure on this flight, we'd like to welcome you aboard on this Boeing 737-800 destination Amsterdam. As you may have noticed, it's a full flight today, so we kindly ask your cooperation by stowing the large front hand luggage items in the bins and the smaller items like handbags and backpacks underneath the seat in front of you. Except when you're seated near the emergency exits today, that will be row 15 and row 16. Would you please be so kind to stow all the luggage in the luggage compartment there? Thank you very much for your cooperation. <coughs> hand luggage items on the side in the luggage bins and the smaller pieces of hand luggage like backpacks and handbags underneath the seat in front of you. Except when you see the very merit checks today, there will be about 15 or 16. We kindly request that you stole all the luggage in the luggage compartments there. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Goedemiddag, dames en heren, hartelijk welkom voor de passagiers. Dus we juist zijn ingestapt. Zoals u gemerkt heeft, is de vlucht vol vandaag. Zo wij vragen uw medewerking door de grote een stuk handbagage op te bergen en op deze bagagebak kan dat op de zijkant. Die kunt u plaatsen in de bagagebakken en de kleinere stuk handbagage zoals handtassen en rugzakken vragen wij u graag onder de stoel voor u te plaatsen. Behalve wanneer er bij ons een nooduitgangen zit vandaag rij 15, rij 16, daar vragen we om alle bagage die we daarvoor bestellen bagagebakken te deponeren. Hartelijk dank voor uw medewerking. En ik ben uw cursor op deze vlucht namens gezag voor de massa. U hoorde hem zojuist al even. En zijn bemanning heet ik u hartelijk welkom aan boord. En bijzonder welkom voor onze Flying Blue Sky Team Elite Plus en Elite Leden. Dit is de vlucht naar Amsterdam. Vliegtijd vandaag 45 minuten. En deze vlucht wordt uitgevoerd door KLM in samenwerking met onze partners. Over enkele momenten demonstreren we onze vliegveiligheidsvoorzieningen aan boord. Dit doen wij in de Engelse taal. Mocht u nog vragen hebben, dan zullen wij dit natuurlijk graag beantwoorden. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, dear passengers, welcome on board this Boeing 737-800 destination Amsterdam. My name is Fanny Rijk and I'm your purser on board of this flight. On behalf of the Massa and his crew, we'd like to welcome you on board. We'd like to extend a special welcome to our Flying Blue Sky Team Elite Plus and Elite members. This is the flight to Amsterdam, flying time today 45 minutes. And this flight is operated by KLM in cooperation with our partners. In a few more minutes, we will show you our flight safety procedures on board. Instructions will be given in English. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask a member of our cabin crew. We care about your safety and therefore we ask you to stow your hand baggage and large electronic devices such as laptops during taxi, takeoff and landing. Small electronic devices may be used at all times when so set in airplane mode and secured in your hand or pockets. After selecting airplane mode, feel free to turn on Bluetooth. Please make sure your device is visible at all times when charging. Charging of electronic devices is not allowed during taxi, takeoff and landing. If your device produces smoke, gets hot or shows signs of damage, unplug the device from charging immediately and alert a crew member. Please let me remind you that smoking is not allowed on this flight. This includes the use of electronic cigarettes. May we have your attention for the flight safety demonstration? Please fasten your seatbelt now. This is how to fasten the seatbelt and tighten it, and this is how to open it. We will now demonstrate the use of the oxygen mask. If there is a decrease in cabin pressure, your oxygen mask will drop automatically. Pull the mask towards you to start the flow of oxygen. Remove your personal protective face mask and place the provided oxygen mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Secure your own mask first before helping others. We will now demonstrate the use of the life vest. Put your hand through the opening, fasten the strap around your back and attach it in front. Make sure to tighten it. When you are at the door opening, inflate your life vest by pulling the red tack. If necessary, more air can be added to your life vest by blowing into the tube. Contact with water will automatically switch on the light. The life vest is located under your seat. In the unlikely event 
of an evacuation, follow the illuminated sky path to the nearest exits. My colleagues are indicating where the lights and the nearest emergency exits are located. The exit might be behind you. Leave all your carry-on luggage behind and follow the instructions of the crew. We advise you to read the instructions on the safety on board card. You will find it in the seat pocket in front of you. It's now time for the final cabin check. Please make sure that your tray table has been stowed away and that the back of your seat is in the upright position. Make sure electronic devices are disconnected from the onboard power supply. Thank you for your attention. On behalf of KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, we wish you a pleasant flight.
seatbelts, so then please remain seated. When the fasten seatbelt sign is switched off, you will leave the aircraft row by row. It is your turn to stand up when the person is in the row in front of you are moving towards the exit. Please be careful when opening the overhead bins, as items may have shifted and good fallouts. You can now switch on the mobile services on your phone again. On behalf of the entire crew, thank you for flying KLM. It was a pleasure having you on board with us today. We wish you a good stay in the Netherlands or a pleasant onward journey. We hope to see you again soon. Welcome to Amsterdam. Not a long flight by any means, about 45 minutes air time, an hour and 20 on the ground with a uh, taxi from Gates to Romwey. It was a good old flight, I can't complain. KLM do get a bit of stick of their service sometimes, but for me, for a short flight, we've got a compliment cheap snack and drink, uh, half an hour of free Wi Fi for messaging, which to be fair, that half hour is better for the flight anyway, so no, uh, nothing lost there. It, it, it was good, it was good, I really, really enjoyed that. So, for me now, I need to make transfer over to Terminal 1 where, uh, well, I've got another vlog to view, you know, for the, uh, hopefully next week, so. Not gonna say, I really enjoyed that, good old flight. Thank you, KLM, your service worked great. This will be useful. Uh, 1450 Charles de Gaulle, Charlie 5 gates. Okay, so I'm just trying to go to the Terminal 1 now. How's it gonna work, transfer between terminals? Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. So, so I'm gonna make my way towards the transfer service now, make my way to Terminal 1, and prepare myself for max flights. Otherwise, in the three hours I've got myself in Amsterdam, it's gentle to explore as well, kind of see what the sound was like. I mean, for my flights and channel, it's an app I've been through so many times, so it's nice to actually uh, be here in person and actually look at it up close. I'm excited, I'm excited. Other than that, uh, yeah, transfer to terminal and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so actually, I must admit, I'm not super sure where it's taking me to. Like I say, C, uh, C5, Charlie 5. 18 minute walk, so my guess is we're now like in the middle of the airport, kind of the central bit where everything connects one another. It's a beautiful airport this, Charles de Gaulle. Not Charles de Gaulle, sorry, uh, Skiffle. Not quite there yet. It's a beautiful airport. And so hopefully, I'll, uh, now I'm heading out through to, so yeah, I think I'm right, this is the central concourse where everything kind of connects. We carry on a bit further, gates, B, C, D to the left now. Continue onwards. C, 124, continue on to the left. See ya. Ah, okay. Path control, welcome to Europe. Got to go through here. This is interesting. Uh, right, let's have you into the queue then. Uh, European Union queue, all passports here, so. Into the queue, let's see what happens now. Well, that was extremely pleasant actually. Got to the uh, security guard who checked my passport, stamps it of course, and uh, a bit of a laugh because of my one night stay in Tenerife. Because that's a lot of my travel to be fair. One night, stay trips, whatever. So that was, uh, <laughs> that was really good actually. So I made it through to the main Terminal 1 concourse now. I'm in Europe, so passport stamps, I'm cleared to do what I need to do wherever I need to go. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that is all of that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like if you did subscribe once already. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I've now got three hours here at Lounge One at uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Take care guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon, bye bye.